Hi, this is Glenda. Um, I was watching Anna make her lovely angel and um, felt like having a go as well. So um, this is what I've come up with. As usual, I had different um, materials available to me than, than what Anna had. And um, Hannah and I uh, had a go this morning and we did came up with something a bit different again. Um, trying to limit it to what the four-year-old could cope with and um, I mean I think Anna's a, a much nicer but this is just to show you what you can do um, if you don't have the same materials and you know obviously you're not going to have the same materials as what I've got either um, but just have a look at what you've got and see what you can come up with so um, these feathers I got some time ago so I've just got this little bead we'll pop it on and this one's not going to go down as far as my first go. Well, yes it is, it's going to go too far. See, I tested it just before I started filming. And I didn't pull quite as hard as that time. <laughs> anyway, such is life. So, I've because I didn't have the nice big... Well, I did have one of the nice big beads like Anna used for the head and I didn't bring myself to use it. So it's still in my stash and I've used these other beads instead and I've basically got a body and a head instead of just the um, crystal head. So uh, I've put on the body and I've put on um, rondelle, I think they're called, uh, but you can buy them online. Um, like most things you can buy them online. Okay, so I've got my feather and because um, these have wire in them, uh, the bead, the spacer and the pearl and I just have to think of what I did. I shall turn it over. <laughs> okay, um, I think I then added another feather. I'll just find a the one that was a bit crooked. Okay, so trim this one off. And I might just add it. I mean, like all these things, you keep evolving the design as you go. Then I didn't have the die she used. Not really into wings, but angels would be an exception. So I thought I'll use skeleton leaves. So I'll just stick the skeleton leaf on the back. Oh, I'm trying to stick it to my fingers. I will obviously link to Anne's video where she will show you the proper way um, to make her very pretty version of these. So I've got some pearls and um, I did end up on the back of this with some of these stems showing. I'm not sure. I might put something over those. Maybe a bit of felt or something. That might do. Just in case you end up seeing the back of it's hanging on the tree, it could swivel around. So yeah, I think a little bit of felt. So I'm just going to trim that off. Hope they don't fall apart. This is my cut down spatula because I don't have any of the fancy heat gun tools. Heat glue gun tools. Isn't it funny how often a number of us will mix up what we're talking about? <laughs> Maybe it's the age of crafters. Not that everybody crafting is getting on. Oops.
think just a little bit of felt over the back of the bead there will make quite a difference. Okay. I'm just going to trim off the top of this wire. Bend it down. And a hanger. We don't seem to be able to get the really nice hangers that you seem to get in America. These crummy little things are all that's around. I have already tied a bow, which I am going to pop there. Ends. And there she is. So there's my two angels. Um, Anne actually put some sticky bling down the front of hers. I did that with the version with Hannah and we had a little bit of trouble, especially Hannah, um, getting it to, to go down without sticking to the feathers in the wrong spots. Um, so I think for my purposes hanging on the tree I think I'll just leave it off um, and I will put a little bit of felt on the back so that's that's my version of Anne's Angels and um, thanks for watching